I'm Claire Kidman and I'm sitting here by the river in Norwich's Riverside talking to Steve Appleton about the urban sketches and we're a little cold so we're going to crack on aren't we? We're very cold, <laughs> we're so going to crack on. The urban sketches, I looked you up online and it seems the urban sketches is something of a movement. Can you tell me about where, where did the urban sketches originate? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Individually, obviously, people go out and draw. In 2007, though, a particular man called Gabriel Campanario, um, a Seattle designer, very cool. He's a really nice man. Is he? Oh, yeah. He told me off a couple of times, but we'll, we'll maybe get to that. Very, oh, right, yeah. Very cool man. Um, Gabby looked at his work, decided eh, going outside and drawing buildings and people and generally the place where he lived was so cool that he wanted to share it with other people. In 2007, Flickr, photographic yep. online sharing service, had just been introduced and it, I think it literally pinged off in Gabby's head, oh, this is a space where I can put my drawings. I think he was the first guy to put drawings rather than photos there. Um, yeah, it's a space where I can put my drawings, people can mm. look at them. Ooh, you can have groups, people can join me online. Um, so I think, I think it was the internet that enabled the kind of well, global reach of the urban sketches. Otherwise it's just little guys and girls going out and drawing. The fact that it's wrapped up in this kind of internet presence called urban sketches, I think is super. Yes, yeah. Uh, and it's, it's pretty big now. I Do think. you know how many groups there are? I don't. Roughly. I won't make you say an exact number. But. I know exactly. <laughs> there are 31. So there, if you go to urbansketches.org, um, you can find the names of urban sketches listed. Well, at least the people that bothered to register on that. Right, right. Um, there's also a huge list by country of urban sketches. So there are 31 countries listed. Wow. where apparently people can be bothered to say, yes, I'm an urgent, uh, urban sketcher. Mm. That's not to say that there aren't more countries. Uh, within those countries, obviously, there are a whole bunch of groups. Um, so we're the Norwich Urban Sketches group. So we're listed in the UK. No, no, sorry, we're listed in England as the Norwich group. Mm -hmm. Within the Norwich group, I think there are... The mailing list now, there's 51 of us, so it's quite big. Pretty then big. then yeah. factor in all the people that don't list themselves as, ur as urban sketches, but actually kind of look at the site or are inspired by the site yeah. to do some drawing. Yeah. Um, it, it's a big thing. And how long have you personally been involved? Okay, yeah, so I am an illustrator, so my job is to sit around drawing. Most of my work until about eight years ago, no, six years ago was totally done on computers I suddenly had this thing where ooh, if I want to go on holiday I can't work because I'm not in the studio that's rubbish yeah. it sounds really stupid but I got a little sketchbook out um, and I remember very clearly I was in a Pizza Express and I did this little drawing and I was so nervous drawing in front of people because you were in public yeah you? yeah oh people are going to look at me yeah, or they're yeah, going to say yeah. what are you drawing are you drawing me or... yeah yeah uh, well there's all there's a whole bunch of issues it's a it, i was going to say it's a weird thing to do it's potentially um a weird thing to do you could be mm. making notes on people you, you know a whole bunch of health and safety issues but yeah so i suddenly had this epiphany i can draw in my sketchbook and suddenly i was doing it in pizza express and nobody told me off and it was super fun uh, and it, for me, for my practice, suddenly working with like, pencils and paintbrushes on paper when you're on holiday or anywhere, it was genius. Yeah, and so portable as well. Yeah. Just and when it. I say genius, I mean stupid. I should have come to that years ago. Right, yeah. Because I was doing sketching. I said, wow, there's loads of people doing the same thing. And so I was aware of it from about 2008, I guess. Specifically, though, a brilliant guy called John Poole mm -hmm. um, who lives in Norwich um, he contacted myself and Julie Bolas and it was John Poole who said oh let's do a, a Norwich chapter mm -hmm. of the urban sketches chapter. yeah no it's, it's it's a big deal but as soon as John said well we should we should like we'll get together and do some stuff my first response was that could be good mm. as soon as we did it my second response was this is genius again why didn't we do this years ago right so that would be a good point to ask you what, what it is you are getting out of it um, well firstly the idea that we the Norwich group meet up pretty well no strictly once a month on a Sunday it's an excuse to one get out of the house 
too to feel a bit bad if you don't get out of the house because you're kind of you know people know you should be at the urban sketches drawing have you got a note yeah yeah no exactly three the idea from a health and safety point of view that you're meeting up with people we can go to places that maybe individually you know you, you might not be comfortable going to but if there's six or seven or eight or twelve of you you know from safety a health and safety point of view i think that's good Mm. we're by the river now if somebody yeah, drops in I can see group. if they go in yeah. um, I think also one of the best things for me certainly is looking at the work at the end of a session so what we tend to do meet up disperse do some drawing mm-hmm. come back to a central point throw the sketchbooks down and just kind of have a quick informal look at what we've done um, you can look at somebody's drawing and you can learn something from it um, on a very personal level this idea of, of working and showing your work to other practitioners was so powerful for me. Last September I started university. For me it's a direct link between coming to this group uh, uh-huh. and sharing work and yeah, well, why not go to university. So uh, although you're an illustrator, you, yep. you hadn't, had you previously studied some sort of art, art course no, a, a long, 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 long time ago, I did a, a foundation uh, art and design course, mm-hmm. um, and then I ran off and became a rock musician, like you do. Then, when I got too old for that, I come back on that now, and obviously I'm a performing rock musician. <laughs> we suddenly leapt into the idea that, oh, let's just be a design company. This was like 30 years ago, um, and suddenly we were a design company. Mm-hmm. So no technical training, mm-hmm. but I think well, that's one of the great things about kind of drawing. You don't have to be like technically trained or anything. You just oh, have to yeah, do pretty no. drawings that people respond to. Oh, there's that thing where people, a lot of people get put off at school because they feel that it's a sort of, I have to draw in a particular way. It's a very prescriptive thing, and people don't really get to find their own voice in in drawing and there's so many ways to draw and make marks and record what yeah doing, sure but sure god there's so many different styles isn't oh there? for sure one of the brilliant things about this group is that there's well first you don't pay to come to it yeah uh, we don't and i mean this in a good way hopefully uh, we don't care if you don't turn up to a session yeah. you know it's not like you're letting anyone down we don't care what you do. Some people bring oil paints, which right. I think is crazy. It's so difficult. Yeah. Some people bring watercolours. Some people mm. just use a biro. Mm. You know, it, the style isn't, it's not an issue. If you come and you look and you record what you're doing, as far as I'm concerned, that's brilliant. And that we're totally going to support you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What's your own approach to drawing? What sort of things do you bring along or does it vary? It totally varies. I'm quite excitable about stuff. As soon as I see somebody using watercolours, I want to use watercolours because it's brilliant. I think personally I very much subscribe to the idea that um, it's all about me composing. As Turner said, even in front of nature one must compose. So yeah, I'm not... Some people come to it and approach it very architecturally. They want to record buildings. I think I'm much more messy and fluid than that. But brilliantly, the group can, can, can hold any kind of style. It literally doesn't matter. Mm, Come just, along if you're interested. Uh, when I looked online, I noticed there was a manifesto at yep. various points. And one of them was, uh, we show the world one drawing at a time. And I was wondering um, whether you have kind of stuck to the UK, or whether you've been travelling with your sketchbook. Oh, you did mention uh, holiday, didn't yeah, you? It, yeah, well, the, I think the, the, the activity is so addictive. Once you've sat in a Pizza Express or wherever you have your particular epiphany, um, once you realise that it's such a fun thing to do, to, to look at something and record it in your book, yeah, you can't stick to one area. And in my head, the manifesto says, draw the world that we live in. Uh, my world is very different to your world. Uh, and my world incorporates Cairo and Greece and New York and Hunstanton. and you know, it's wherever I am mm-hmm. is the thing that I'm recording. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, even though we are the Norwich urban sketches, within our kind of web space, there are drawings from all over the world because mm-hmm. it's our individual worlds. I'd recommend looking at the website. It's really interesting. But before, I just wanted to ask you, yeah. Gabby told you off. Tell me, what happened? <laughs> OK, so I am very excitable. Obviously, as soon as I joined the Flickr group, urban sketches... It's, it's so funny, you make so many friends and like genuine, they're 
obviously in the urban sketches Flickr group you're supposed to put drawings of urban sketches um, I started to put self-portraits and shoes and cats and just drawings that I'd done because I was sharing them with my friends and Gabby was so nice he said oh Steve they're really nice drawings well done you but don't put them in this group it's nothing to do with what we're for oh. you can start your own group for cats or shoes or thanks Selfies. Gabby yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And he was totally right, which is another brilliant thing. And the website, could you just give us that again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if, well, there's two things. If you want to see the international um, activities, uh, you should probably go to um, urbansketches.org. Yep. If you want to see our particular group, it's urbansketchesnorwich.wordpress.com. Uh, from that, there are links to our individual practice and to our Flickr group. Um, also on that, urbansketchesnorwich.wordpress.com, uh, right at the top of the page, I always put in where we're meeting the next meeting. So yeah. if anyone wants to come, just come along. Excellent. Look for a bunch of guys and ladies with sketchbooks and pens and pencils, and that will be us. And Facebook? Uh, we haven't got Facebook, no. Okay. Probably ought to. I think you should. I'm going to. You've told me <laughs> off now. <laughs> Demanding, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And I'll link that to Twitter as well. Cool. Excellent. Thanks for talking to me, Steve. No, super brilliant speaking. <laughs>